Let's start with our warm-ups. So spread your toes out, hip width apart with your feet, knees going towards your second toes, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, and just lengthen up through your spine, up through the crown. Get your core activated so it's supporting your low back. Ribs toward your spine and up. Relax your arms and just stretch your whole body. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep the shoulders low down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders still down. Clasp your hands behind you, just fingertips together and press them toward the floor. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and don't forget to keep breathing. And then exhale, pivoting at your hips, coming all the way over as deeply as feels good for you today. Move your chin around, start relaxing your neck a little bit. Lift your sitting bones, straighten your legs as much as you can for that stretch. And then bend your knees slightly, push the sitting bones down as you lift the ribs and unwind the spine and come all the way back into that upper body back bend. Keep the chin slightly down. Remember, don't, stroke, don't crunch the back of your neck. Keep stretching your spine. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale to the top, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling that energy moving through you. Again, reaching up at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So then one position over with your fingers. Stretch through the spine, lifting your heart into the back bend. Exhale, over. And again, bring your hands up toward the ceiling, further toward your head, letting those shoulders move a little bit more. And again, chin slightly in as you bend your knees and wind up into the back bend one more time. Drop those shoulders, stretch your head back, and keep lifting your heart. On an inhalation, come on up back into mountain pose. Stretch up through your spine, keep the shoulders down, bring your hands to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass and clasp them, bring your arms back by your ears, spread out your toes, straighten your spine and stretch it apart. And stay facing forward as you lean to the side for that rib opening. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, get an extra stretch on that side. Keep the shoulders still going toward your waist. Inhale back to the center, shoulders are still down, switching your other hand to the front. And again, pull the arms by your ears, stretch and straighten everything, and lean to the other side. And again, pushing your foot down and your hands away. Remember not to lean your shoulder forward. Take a breath. Feel those ribs open. And then inhale back up. Exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment just feeling the sides, noticing what's going on, and stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up. Hands above your shoulders. Sorry. Clasp your elbows. Bring your arms back by your ears and stretch. Exhale, turning over to one side. Take a breath. Lengthen up. Exhale, over. Keep those toes pointing forward. Lift the sitting bones. Straighten the knees as much as feels good. And don't forget to breathe. Keep the weight on both feet. And then as you inhale, work your way back up in the twist and lift your heart, drop your shoulders. And remember, no pressure in that low back wall. You're twisted coming into your back bend. Take a breath, elbows back. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, stretch apart and exhale over to the other side. Another breath. And exhale over. And again, deepen as much into that forward position as your body wants. Check to make sure you've got weight on both feet, not leaning just to one side. 
And again, inhale and come up and lift your heart. Drop your shoulders and stretch your head back. Feel that back bend in the upper body. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, reach up and palms out down to shoulder level. Pivot at your hips, bring your chest forward, stretch it out halfway, and then drop into ragdoll, just hanging however far your arms want to go today. Knees straight or slightly bent. You can pull in a little deeper for a good back stretch if you want with your hands behind your legs. Tuck in your chin just slightly, then let go of your legs and wind slowly back to standing into mountain pose. Circle those shoulders a couple of times, just releasing and dropping them away from your ears. Stretch up through the crown. Stretch apart your base of your skull and base of your spine, and just a gentle swing. Follow your hands from one side to the other as much or as little as your body is needing right now. just feel that spine getting a little bit more energized. And then angle your feet slightly out. We're going to do our pelvic tilts. So the toes go slightly out, the knees still going toward your second toes. Bend your knees right above the toes. Keep your shoulders above your toes as well. You put your hands above your knees. Remember, no pressure on the hands, just position. I'm going to stretch spine long and then drop the ribs forward and push the sitting bones back and look to the front. So you're getting that whole pelvis moving, whole spine going into a back bend. And then exhaling, ribs back, tuck your chin just slightly, look between your hands, really pull those sitting bones down and forward for that whole pelvis, rib, and spine area move. Inhale, back bend. Exhale forward again. And just a few times through that range of motion, following your breath, breathing into the front and exhaling as you look down. And just feel those lungs expand and your spine move and your hips and pelvis getting a little bit more warmed up. And the next time you're forward, just pause at the bottom and then inhale up and back into mountain pose. As you get there, just feel again, noticing your spine. Remember, that's your yoga practice is to notice what the body is doing as you go through your motions. And then let's angle the toes out just a little again. And bend your knees toward your toes and reach down toward the floor. Or if that's not good for your knees or back, you can go just to your knees. And then inhale and come all the way back up, straightening your knees, hands to your hips. Frog, squatting frog, just exhale down as deeply as you want to go and inhale back up. And just again, building a little warmth as we go, exhaling and inhaling, feeling that core doing a little bit of work for you as you work through that range of motion going exhaling down and inhaling up remember going as fast or slow as your body is willing to do make sure those knees go bending toward your toes not way out to the sides or in for each other and just feel what's going on as you build that energy a little bit more and then coming back up turn the toes to the front again into mountain pose as you get there, just take a moment feeling a little bit of warmth through that midsection or building that core energy, empowering you for the day. Hands to your heart, look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. A little back bend, pulling the thumbs back as you gaze at them, lifting your heart. Exhale, pivot on over, bringing your hands to your chest and then pivoting down into red dog. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten everything. Exhale back down, bend your knees again, palms together. Inhale, hands to your heart, go ahead all the way toward the ceiling. And another little back bend. 
Separate your hands, swan dive forward. Get everything nice and stretched out and straight. And again, we're up into ragdoll. Hands up again under your knees on your shins. Halfway up stretch, give a good lengthening through your spine. And then exhale back into ragdoll. Pull in a little deeper, get that back of your body really rounded. And then release that. Release your hands, bring them out at shoulder level, straight, straighten your back, push the sitting bones and crown away, pivot up, keep those arms right at shoulder level as you get to the top, and then turn your palms up, look overhead as you bring your hands together, and another back bend, lifting your heart, exhaling, come on over and back into red. Another halfway up stretch, and bend your knees, come into the floor for our child pose transition. Hips back to your heels, hands, palms up, forehead coming forward and bend. Just take a moment, feel that whole back of your body, giving a good stretch. And then bring the hands out to the front, push them forward, get your Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. From your first into table position, get that core active, supporting your lower back. Feel it working. And then we're going to extend the legs back all the way straight, coming into plank position. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulder lined up. So if that's not working for you, you can bring your hips slightly up, but you don't want to sag through that low back. So get it as straight as you can. Keep those core muscles pulling up toward your spine and toward your heart. Stretch back through the heels, out through the crown. Take a breath or two. Exhale any tension. If it gets too much with your toes, base of your toes supporting you, you can bring your knees to the floor, remember, but keep everything as straight as you can, whatever position you're going into. And then bring one foot up off the floor slightly and push back through the base of those toes. Stretch it out and bring that toes area, base of the toes, balls of the feet down. Both heels pressing back, back into plank position. Bring your other foot up just slightly. Again, straighten that foot. Stretch it out through the toes, through the crown. And foot down. Take another breath, stretch it out, and then bring your knees to the floor, slide your toes back, your hips back toward your heels, coming into extended child's pose. And then into full child's pose, hands next to your feet. Forehead down, bring those knees together if you like that back to get a good low back stretch. And then inhale up and slide off, bringing your feet out to the end of the mat into staff position. <clears throat> so press out through the bottoms of your feet with your toes up, core active, supporting your low back, stretching your crown to the ceiling. Take a moment there as you breathe. And then slide back a little bit because we're going to push our feet down toward the floor as we go into reverse plank. So bring your hands under your shoulders behind you, fingertips pressing toward, heading toward your toes, and press evenly into your hands right under your shoulders. Lift your hips and push the tops of your feet down to the floor. And again, it's ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up in as straight a line as you can in this reverse plank. Toes coming down toward the floor as far as they can go. You'll feel that probably in your calves. Keep lifting through the hip bones, making sure that you're not sagging through that lower back area once more. Take a breath, stretch out through the toes, through the top of your head. Keep breathing, keep lengthening. Exhale, bring your hips back down and come back up into staff position. Take a breath there. Use your core for support. Exhale, 
grow slightly back. Feel that core supporting you. Roll a little bit further. Let it keep supporting you as you go slowly, incrementally down to your lower back and your ribs and your shoulders, shoulder blades and shoulders. Take a moment as you get down, just exhale any tension. Coming into corpse pose for a little recline integration. Let that core exhale and relax. But we're not quite done with it for today. Yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of core work from this position. So get your sitting bones slightly towards your heels, press your back down, and we're going to either bend the right knee and then put the foot up toward the ceiling, or keep it straight and bring it straight up. Flex the foot, push the heel up toward the ceiling, kneecap toward your thigh, tighten the front of your thigh, and let the back of your leg get a nice straightening as much as it will. Take a moment, exhale tension. Feel that core working to support, and then taking your legs slowly, keep it straight if you can, and lead with the heel, lowering the leg slowly. And whenever it gets done, go ahead back into your relaxation, letting everything release. And of course, we're going to balance and do that other leg. So again, sitting around slightly towards your heels, back pressing down, like either bending first and coming up or straight coming up and flex the heel. Get it straight along the back of the leg as you can. So kneecap again towards your thigh, tightening the front of your thigh, letting that hamstring get a good stretch as you push out through your heel. Toes towards you. And once again, feel that support coming from the core. Take a few breaths there. Just relax your shoulders, relax your upper body. And then leading with the heel, using that core for support, slowly lower your leg. Take your time. Whenever it gets there, just relax. Allow your body to release any tension that's left. And of course, we're going to intensify that a little bit. So we're going to do both legs together. You may want on this one to bend the knees before you put them up. Or if you feel like your core is pretty strong today, you can press up through the base of the toes and bring those feet up straight. And again, flex the heels, press those feet up toward the ceiling. Feel that core working and as you come into that 90 degree angle position as closely as you can. Push the feet up, press the back gently down. And this time we're going to lower the right leg slowly just above the floor. So just slowly bring it down and let it hover. Press out through the foot and then slowly bring it back down. And whenever it gets back to the top, just pause a moment, pressing both feet up equally. And then, of course, doing the other foot. Slowly lowering that left leg, keeping it as straight as you can all the way down, just above the floor, not quite touching. Press it out through the bottom of the foot. Feel it working through the core. And bring your leg back up. And again, as they get back up, just press both feet toward the ceiling evenly. Keep those legs as straight as comfortable. And breathe. Shoulders down. You can bring your arms out to T position if that helps. And slowly lower both legs if that works for you. Otherwise, just do one at a time. Take your time. Breathe. Feel it working. Keep pressing out through the feet. We're going all the way to the floor and relax. Take a breath or two. Feel that warmth, a little bit more built up through that midsection. And then sitting bones towards your heels, bend your knees, heels right near your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor. Remember, roll in that upper thigh area to make sure those knees stay straight up, not spreading apart. And you don't want them to lean in toward each other either. 
We're going to keep those sitting bones going toward the heels, press the back down. Feel that core pulling all the way toward the floor. They feel a little through the tightness through the front of the thighs as you do that as well. But keep that core really working. And then we're going to tuck the sitting bones back to the floor and lift the ribs up, getting that space under your back so that you're arched up from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones, lifting the heart, pressing up through that rib area. And then exhale, slide it down, sitting bones towards your heels, getting that whole spine connecting to the floor. Inhaling, lifting the ribs. Go as deeply into that back bend or as gently as your body needs. Remember, personal practice always. Exhale, pressing down. Inhale, lifting the heart. And just go through that range of motion a few times, just slowly, really feeling it. Remember, put your mind into where you're doing the work, and it makes it more effective. Sitting bones down to the floor, arching up, back pressing down, sitting bones reaching for the heels. And just once or twice more, just feel that whole body, and then just go back to neutral position and relax. Take a moment and breathe. Tension out. We're going to bring the arms to T position. Turn the hands, palms down for a little more stability in that upper body. You can keep the knees bent, and we're going to put both feet up toward the ceiling, or you can straighten your legs and again raise both legs together if you like that. Again, press the feet toward the ceiling, the heels toward the ceiling, toes toward your head and straighten your legs as much as you can. We're going to go into pendulum. So this can be a little intense. If it's too intense with your legs straight, remember, just bend your knees as much as you need to. We're going to bring that feet both over to one side and turn your head toward the opposite side. Hover just above the floor. Use your arms for support. Go as deeply into that as your body wants. And remember, you can keep the knees bent. It makes it easier. Take a breath, push out through the bottoms of your feet. And then inhale, bring your feet back up toward the ceiling. Straighten things out as much as you need to as you get up. And we're going to, of course, do it the other way. So feet right at hip level, moving toward the floor, going as far as just above the floor to hover. Pressing out through the feet, turning your head toward the opposite arm. Maximize or minimize. Remember, it's your body. Do what's right for you. Bend the knees if you need to. Keep those shoulders down for support. And again, inhale, bringing the feet back up toward the ceiling. And then, if you haven't already bent your knees, you can bend your knees with the knees right above your hips. And we'll do the bent knee twist, just rolling those knees gently to the side, bringing the toes down toward the floor, turning your head again toward that opposite knee, or opposite hand, rather. Take a breath. If you love that low back twist, you can bring those knees up toward your elbow. And then bringing the heels in toward your hips, roll back onto your back with the knees right above your hips. Feet to the floor if you need to straighten it out and twist to the other side. Knees coming over, turning your head the other direction. And again, just staying there in that position, maximizing for your body or minimizing if that's more appropriate for you. If you love the low back part, you can bring those knees up toward your elbow. Take a breath. Just relax. And again, to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Bring your feet down to the floor. Slide them out. And turn your hands Palms up, slightly away from your sides, shoulders down, toes toward each other, and then just release. Take a moment to breathe, let that whole belly area soften. Exhale, any tension. Just allow your body to soften and sink into that surface beneath you, and let everything go. 
expand through your body. Breathe in deep through your nose. Exhale, just gently through your lips. Putting that whole midsection get a little release. Take that breath in again. And once more, just out through your lips. Let your body just soften and sink into that surface beneath you. Scanning for any tightness, just allowing it to release. Body sinking deep into that surface beneath you. Just let it go. As your body relaxes, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as you do that, other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, let the thoughts go without attention to the past or anticipation of the future. Let the thoughts drift in and out as easy as the breath. No need to focus on the content. Just let them drift without attention. And as you release the content of the thoughts, and you let your body soften into that earth embrace, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Let your awareness fill with the peace within, filling your body and your mind, just being in peace. And if you feel really relaxed today, just keep relaxing as long as you can. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the mind, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however's feeling right for you today. Moving your fingers, your toes, letting that midsection release and move. Shoulders relaxing. As you breathe more deeply and stretch more fully when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and your knees up toward your butt. Wrap your arms around, <clears throat> however, feels right for you to do it, giving yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that hug and appreciation, just bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me. <laughs>